Hey everyone, I'm gonna, we already have this part done. I've gone in and uh, sketched in my verse and I sketched in this little bird and I did, as you can see closer here, I put in like some orange and then while it was still wet, I dabbed some bright red on it to give it a little more dimension. Then to give it a lot of movement, I just slapped on a bunch of green paint all over the place. You can see all those paint lines where the paintbrush was going. Was not super careful about it, just kind of did it. It's super easy. But now what I want to do is add a little bit more dimension to that, um, and a little more detail. So we're going to, I'm going to show you a new technique. We're going to use some a toilet paper tube. As you can see here, just, you know, your basic thing. And then I've got just a jar lid, my paintbrush. And then I'm going to make a nice big pool of blue paint in there. So first I've got some nice hot water in there. The hot water makes the tempera paint, or I mean the watercolor paint, um, just a little juicier. It melts down a little faster. It does a little bit more of its work there. I'm getting used to doing this, guys. Um, so I'm going to dab that in there. Look, it's nice and juicy. Ooh, beautiful blue paint. Awesome. So I'm going to set my paintbrush down over there, and I'm going to grab the toilet paper tube, and I'm just going to dab it right on there. And then I'm going to come over here. Oop, need a little more paint. And I'm going to dab it right on to our painting that I've got, or to my painting that I've got started there. And I'm just randomly stamping those on there. If you would want, I need a little more paint, it looks like, that used up a lot, so I'm gonna come back, get some more water. Dab that on there. Come get it. some paint. There. That looks better. You may have to kind of turn it because you can see my lid is kind of going either way there. If you wanted them to be more definite, if you have acrylic paint and you want to do it with acrylics, that always looks cool too. The thing I love about using toilet paper tubes to do these circles is they are disposable. And with three kids in the house, I always have lots of them. So that is our first step in adding a little bit more dimension to this birdie.